Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out finger pen makeup. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos. The product I'm trying out today is from a Korean brand called 16 Brand. I have 13 shades here and these are multi-use pens and they come in all sorts of colors. The formula is super creamy and water resistant. It's also long wearing and the color is buildable. There's three shades that you can use to highlight, conceal and contour and the other shades you can use on your lips, cheeks, eyes, pretty much wherever you want. In Australia, you can get these online at Mecca for $19 each. We which may be a little bit expensive because I did find it on Mimi box for $7. I think it's usually like $14 US, but now they have a sale for $7. So if you want to find something cheaper, you can jump on Mimi box, but I'm pretty sure like eBay has these as well. As you can see, they're super colorful, just like my new hair. I feel like I get crazier and crazier with my hair. I'm slowly becoming a unicorn slash mermaid. Anyway, so I'm gonna try these out. I'm gonna start off with the three shades that you can use to highlight, conceal, and contour. So these are the three shades. Um, on the back of these, they have like little stars. They have little stars, so then you can see what shade it actually is. So to dispense these, you just click the bottom of it and the product should come out to the sponge tip. And with these, you can just apply it directly to the area on the skin. I'm just gonna like try to dot this around first. This is, what shade is it? Sand beige. So is this, this is not the lightest one. This is like the medium shade. You can either blend it with your fingers or you can go in with a sponge, like a beauty blender to just quickly blend it out. So far it's really creamy and it is super blendable. And I feel like it's like really quick and easy because you just pretty much like click it a few times and then just dab it over the areas that you want to apply the product. I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade and I'm just gonna use this to highlight a little bit more, like the center of my nose. Maybe just around my cupid's bow and around my chin. And then I'm gonna quickly blend that out. This has a nice smell to it, it kinda kind of smells like a florally sunscreen. I'm gonna try out the contoured shade, which is called Peach Almond. I'm just gonna dot it under my cheekbones. I feel like I have the measles or something that's happening here. It looks kind of fun though. I'm just gonna blend it out. I think for my nose, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Whoa, I think I applied way too much of that. I have like a Michael Jackson nose or something. I'm trying to go for the natural look here, but this is like not working out for me today. I'll go back to that and fix it up because I don't want these spots to dry. Now this does set a bit quick. So if you are one of these people that like to map it out and then take your time blending, maybe just kind of like work each area as you go instead of like mapping the whole thing out. Cause I feel like once it kind of sets a little bit, you have to push a bit harder with your blender to, you know, blend it out. And my nose is totally over the top right now. So this is what the highlight, conceal and contour pen look like on my skin. I actually quite like the finish of this. It looks pretty natural, it looks really flawless. So I've tried three of the pens, now I have 10 of the colored ones left to try out. I'm gonna swatch them out on my lips so you guys can see the colors. But basically these pens can be applied on your cheeks and your eyes as well, depending on the finish. Some of them have a matte finish, some of them are kind of shiny, so I think if I was going to apply any of my eyes, I would go with a matte one. Again, with these colored ones, the stars represent the colors. So this stick isn't actually blue, it's more like a pink. And this gold one is like a nudie color. So the stars represent the color. So the first shade I'm gonna try out is peach. It has a nice smell. So what do you think of this color? Um, for some reason, I just don't think this color is meant for your lips. Like testing it on my hand, I feel like this is more of like a highlighter shade and I've just applied it all over my lips. I think this totally works 
much better as like a glowy highlighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next shade I'm going to try out is Coral Pink. Oh, this texture is totally different to the gold one. That smells different too. Smells nice. Smells fruity. This one I feel like it's a creamier texture. That gold one I applied before was definitely not meant for your lips. I feel like that was just like a highlight, you know, it looks so much better on my cheeks. Not for your lips, but this one you can definitely apply on your lips and it looks really nice and it feels nice. I quite like this colour. This shade is called Gangs Pink. This one is Pale Pink. I'm gonna get like arm muscles like pressing these. Oh yes. Next is Orange Pink. This one is Pink Shot. Next we have Orange. Oh. My lips are getting bigger and bigger <laughs> and it's just getting a bit crazy. It's like I ate those like chili fire noodles. Anyways, the next shade is Poppy Red. Come on. We have two left. Let's go with this one. This one is Plum. I'm getting a thumb cramp. Whew. Last one is Berry Red. This one broken? Come on, this one can't be broken. This is the last one. I don't know what's wrong with this one. Maybe the spring is not working. Boom, boom. This one is broken. It doesn't want to come out. Like I can hear the spring. It doesn't sound like the other ones. The other ones kind of like, it's much smoother. It doesn't have this like, it doesn't have this cricket sound. Yeah, this one's broken. So I cannot swatch this color for you very red. That's a shame. So these are pretty versatile, you can mix and match colors. So I just applied like the concealer one over my lips to knock out the color. And then I applied coral pink all over and in the center I applied pink shots. So you can mix and match your colors to create different gradient lips if you like. Also you can apply some on your cheeks, which I'm gonna try out now. I'm going to try out the orange color for my cheeks. I'm just gonna dab like three dots. I don't wanna like overdo it. And then just like, Blend it in. I actually kind of prefer using my fingers to blend this cheek colour in. Gives you a really nice natural finish. What do you think? Do you guys like this? And the colour is definitely buildable, so the areas that you want a bit more colour, just apply a couple of dots around there. And then you have like nice blush cheeks. Also, you can apply these on your eyes. I'm going to try it with the same orange colour. I'm just going to like it on my lid and just use my fingers to blend the color out. You could use this as an eyeshadow or even just like a base and you can apply an eyeshadow over it. It's really easy to blend because they're really creamy but you just have to work fast because you don't want it to set before you blend it out. I'm gonna go in with this purple on the outer corner to add some depth. It's like super easy to blend the colors together. They're really creamy. And you can do this with your fingers. You don't even need brushes to blend it out because they're so creamy. I quickly just finished off my eye makeup, just a bit of liner and mascara, just to kind of like finish off the look. But this is the final look I achieved with the finger pens. What do you think? Surprisingly, I actually quite like them. The concealer, highlight, and contour pens were kind of like 
normal. They weren't like that different compared to other highlighters and concealers out there. However, I do really like the other ones, the colored ones. These five, I would say, are my favorite shades. We've got the Coral Pink, Pink Shots, the Orange, the Plum, and the Peach. This one is actually really good as an illuminator, and I feel like it just gives you that nice glowy look, but not like too crazy, like beaming highlight. So if you're looking for something a bit subtle, this is nice for that. Also, all these other shades are kind of like on the matte side of things. I think I just prefer matte colors on my skin and actually the texture of the formula feels really different. It feels really velvety as opposed to like, I don't know, I guess like the other one feels too, too much like a lip gloss or something, but these ones feel really nice on the skin. You can see that nice like matte but velvety finish. It's like really smooth. Unfortunately, I didn't get to try this last shade because it's broken, which is a bummer because these pens aren't that cheap, at least in Australia, they're not that cheap. So you'd hope you'd get one that works. I don't know if there's a way to fix it. Maybe if I actually like took it apart, I could fix it, but I don't know. Now it's time for me to rate these. I think I'm gonna rate these an eight and a half out of 10. So that's actually pretty high. I didn't give it high because one didn't work. So I can't say the quality is going to be like the best for all of them. Plus I didn't like all the shades. I just like five out of the like 13 shades. The concealer, highlight, and contour, I mean, they were nice as well, but I have other concealers that can kind of do that already. However, these are really cool. I would definitely like reach for these like regularly because they're just so like easy to blend and like just really easy to apply. You don't really need like extra brushes or anything. You can just use your fingers to blend it out. So it's super convenient. Plus I feel like these dispense like a good amount of products they don't like dispense too much that you just like left with like a lot unless you pump it out a lot but I feel like the cushion tips are really good I feel like you know it's like it's like a good size it can use on your eyes your cheeks your lips and yeah you can create all sorts of looks with them if you're interested in trying these out I would definitely do my research online to get the best prices because like the prices just vary all over the place so make sure you do your research that's it for now. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.